OK. So ladies and gentlemen, one of the first things that uh, we're going to be talking about is getting over how to determine the slope between two points. And I'll get a little bit um, into more detail as far as determining the slope as we go on. But basically, one of the first, uh, one of the main operations that we will be doing is uh, in, the, in our work today, we'll have two points, and we're going to have to determine the slope between them. And again, I'll get into that, um, I'll get into that a little bit more uh, and through some more examples. But basically, ladies and gentlemen, there's a couple things. When determining the slope between two points, one of the main important formulas that you're going to want to make sure you know, and if you don't know, write it down so you have it, is the slope formula. How to determine the slope between two points. And basically, um, when we're talking, when we're going to be talking about slope, slope is going to, is a ratio. It's the change in the y coordinates over the change in the x coordinates between any two points on a line. Um, so we have this y2, y1, x2, x1. Well, where exactly are these stemming from? Now, remember when we plotted points, right? When we worked on this last class period, we were plotting points that had a y on the y axis, or not on the y and x axis, but had an x and a y coordinate. Right? That's what we planned last class period. We plotted points, an x coordinate and a y coordinate. So basically, in general, you can see that we could plot these two points, which are both x and y coordinates. But even though they both represent x and 1, they're different x coordinates and they're different y coordinates. So to differentiate between them, we use the subscripts. So pretty much just saying like point 0.1 and point 0.2. Okay? So now, to determine the slope formula, I literally just go ahead and plug in the points in for y2 and y1. However, um, if you guys do not want to make the most common mistake, whenever you're plugging in or evaluating, use parentheses. It'd be very helpful because the most common mistake is students just automatically write the first one as 3 minus 3. It is not 3 minus 3. It's 3. It's y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1. Do you guys see that? So by applying parentheses, I'm making sure that I am including both of those, um, well, the subtraction and the negative sign. Then over here, I have negative 1 minus uh, 5. So 3 minus a negative, that turns a positive. That's become 6. And negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. Where do I, what do I put? Oh, neg x. Why did I get 1? I don't know. So negative 7 minus 5 is going to be a negative 12. So that becomes a negative 1 half is your slope. Anybody have any questions on that?